What's good, y'all? Hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be doing like a two-part video. It's I'm pretty much gonna do a review on the B10. Um, only has like four shaves in, like four about four uses. So um, I might do an update review, uh, maybe in like a week or like maybe in like two or three weeks. Um, if I find that the knot properties, how it functions kind of changes. But I feel like it's kind of just going to stay like this, whether it's 10 or 15 shades from now. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, so we have B9, we have B10. So um, I'm not sure what I said about the backbone on this. Still very good, but it's not going to be as good. These are both wet. It's not going to be as good as um, the B9. The B9 actually has better backbone. This is softer. Um... Flow through, I found better on the B9. Um, so if face feel is an absolute priority for you, that's the number one thing. You want the softest knot you can get right now. Uh, that's still very dense, good backbone. B10 is for you. I'll tell you why B9 is better in some regards. So this is not nearly as jelly as you can see. See how it's clumped up? That's kind of the gels. So what they do is they bleach the tips till they get whiter. Um, so you literally damage the hair, but what happens is the hair kind of hooks once it gets damaged and it's easy, um, more likely to pick up water. Um, so, but, and they bunch up together and they pick up water, they kind of trap in water and that's what gives it that soft, wet feel. But uh, as a result, it retains a crap ton of water. This one doesn't have that same issue. The reason why I say it's an issue is because uh, it affects the lather. It's harder to lather because um, when you're lathering and you're trying to, you know, agitate it on your face, you want the water to mix with the soap, but the water can't properly mix with the soap if the knot is absorbing all the water, um, especially on a dense knot like this, it can be kind of frustrating. So what I found is you have to load very, very heavy um, and then just work it a little bit longer um, so, but yeah, like the face feel I would say is better if you're into the softer. So for me overall, I kind of like the B9 more, um, but the B10 is still phenomenal, has a better face feel, if that makes sense. I tried to break it down um, and talk about the experience of using these knots. Uh, so you could guys kind of make your own informed decision. So you decide to buy one. So yeah, better face feel, more comfortable, a little bit less, yeah, it has less backbone in the B9, um, but also harder to lather with. Better backbone, better flow through, less soft, still very soft, but not, it's not a cloud. This is more of a cloud um, in comparison. So to me, overall, well-rounded. Very, very, very well-rounded knot. So, um, those are my two comparisons, no knock on either one. I just wanted to be objective and talk about that. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. We're just gonna soak this bad boy up real quick. Um, today we'll be using Barrister and Man Radish. And this was, I believe, a 2019 February release for Valentine's Day. I was able to pick this up on BST and I'm glad I did. It's similar to Lavanel in many ways, which is also by Barrister and Man. It's got plenty of vanillin. Yeah, vanillin. That's how you say it. Vanillin, not vanilla. Um, yeah, but it's got some cinnamon. I'll go over the scent later. I don't want the video too long. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, like you can see how much it clumps and it's deep. It's kind of like into the... So, yeah, it's super soft. I don't think you're gonna find any, much anything softer, but keep in mind, it might be harder to lather it or it might just take a little bit more agitation if, you, uh, if you're if you patient enough. We're gonna do like a 40 second load because another con to having really jelly tips is it doesn't pick up the soap as much, so you have to load longer. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watched the Jack over at the Virtual Groom Room. Whenever he used his uh, jelly knots, he would go over this from Declaration, but that's with any jelly knot. It's not really exclusive to the brand. Sorry, I gotta fix the phone here. Cool. 
going at it. So this is in the Excelsior base. Um, phenomenal base. It's actually got the same ingredients as soft heart, different ratios. Um, I think this is equivalent to what was codenamed as PP7, and soft heart is known as PP8. This is the iteration right before. There you go. Um, for the uh, pre-shave, we'll be using Iron Evans pre-shave serum. So we're going to put like, I don't know, two or three. As you can see, I got like two days of growth here. Wanted to let my face heal after the uh, straight razor shave. Cool. I'm just gonna take whatever's out of here. And then let's get into the lather. So they say this, this is soap might stain the brush, but I kind of don't care as much for some reason. <laughs> I've never seen it actually stain the brush. And I used to use Labino a lot, so. Let's see. We'll see if I could create a lather today. Yeah, like I said, it just takes longer. It is softer and more comfortable on the face. It's got a great backbone but it doesn't have the same flow through. Um, it's not necessarily a lather hawk when I say that, when it doesn't have good flow through, like it'll release the lather. It's just, the gel is really deep. And um, so I just wanted to go over the pros and cons of the knot. Um, so you guys can kind of make your own informed decisions. Um, if you're a Declaration fanboy and <laughs> you want to rip me for saying something objective about the knot, understand I'm probably a bigger Declaration fanboy than you. So yeah, you could kind of chill out with that. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But um, yeah, let's see. See, I'm running into the same issue as the other day, but you just got to keep working it. There you go. I don't know, maybe it is a ladder hog. There you go. I'm looking for that creamy consistency. I did do a 40 second load, so. If you guys want, I could do a side by side. I was actually gonna do that today, but I decided not to. I was gonna do B9 on the left side, B10 on the right. And then um, you guys can literally see the difference. Um, that being said, I'm still very happy with this knot. I have no regrets. But yeah, there's uh, pros and cons to every knot, I would say. Nothing's perfect. Might be perfect for you, but it won't be perfect for everyone. But I could kind of lather with this brush all day and not get any brush burn, so to speak. Because it's that soft. All right, and the lather's starting to come together now. Nice. Very nice. I was going to use the Blackbird today. I've just been itching to use that. So yeah, the lather's a little bit thin, but it's fine. It'll do the job. Um, I was dying to use the Blackbird, but today we're going to go with the Paradigm Diamondback. I haven't used this in about, I don't know, a month. It feels like it at least. Got a fresh Kai blade in here. Second use, actually. Residual slickness is very good. I forgot what I was going to say. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, about Paradigm. I have, um, what, one, two, three? Three Paradigms. The guy makes great razors. But apparently, he owes, he owes uh, Phil over at Blue Goose Shaving. Ten grand. Um, yeah. That's a lot of money, dude. So, I don't know if I'll be supporting his business ventures in the future. He did publicly state a partnership with Mo from, uh, um, from grooming department. I hope everything works out for them. I hope Mo doesn't do a $10,000 donation. <laughs> Anyways, Phil is coming out with a 17-4 razor, which is a type of stainless steel. Um, to kind of recoup the losses from him not being able to get the razors he paid $10,000 for. Because Andrew never, a Paradigm never sent him the razors. So... Um... Yeah, so he made a replica. Sorry, this. Sorry about that, guys. This phone keeps tipping over. All right. Wow, we got a lot of hair in there. Pretty efficient right there. Anyways, um. Yeah, so. He uh he made a replica of the seventeen four razor, designed by Paradigm. And um, he's literally make he made a, an exact copy to recoup the losses. It's actually not an exact copy. He says it's going to be slightly different handle, smoother and more efficient. So I think I plan on supporting him, or at least trying the razor out because I always wanted to try that razor. It was very hard to get, a very limited run. As many things are in this hobby. Many quality made products, handmade products. Very hard to get. Soaps even, you know, a lot of soaps can be hard to get. Especially those limited edition scents that those artisans do. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. You want the artisan to do something more creative, less boring, you know, uh, kind of break out of their shell, make a cool scent. But as a result, they can't sustain it. You know what? Screw it. Why not, right? <laughs> We're gonna do the second pass with the B9. Just so I can um, have a fresh feel in my head. All right, cool. We might pass 20 minutes today, we'll see. We started at 40. I'll go up to, I don't know. I'm kind of loading it like I hate it right now, just to save time. From, uh, that's the famous quote from Stallion. Yeah, because um, I don't have much lather left in this brush, the B10 right now. Um, I don't know, maybe it is a hog. I don't know. It's super dense. It's, it's just the case with all of this knot, and it's a 28 millimeter. So, you know, any super dense 28 millimeter is gonna need a lot more lather, a lot more soap. We actually, this picked up the soap way better in less time. And then we're just gonna have to dial it in one more time. So yeah, in comparison, you can feel the hairs a lot more, but it's still very, very soft and enjoyable. I, I put it a step up in softness over the B7. Um, there's a little bit of backbone in the B7. It's kind of like a soft version of the B7. So, yeah, I personally like this not more. But my B5, for example, is very jelly. 
it has a short loft and I don't have, I don't think I have the same issues that I do with have a B10. At the end of the day, they're all phenomenal brushes, but it's up from, it's up to me, the, uh, it's up for me to be objective and honest with the viewer so they can kind of make their own decisions should they pursue to try to get these knots, whether it's through Scott or aftermarket. But um, let's do against the green. Something I heard Ken talk about the other day, or was it today? I don't know. He said he kind of treats holding his razor like he's lightly holding a drumstick to kind of feel the vibration through the drumstick. And he said it kind of helps him reduce uh, adding pressure, which obviously could reduce irritation. So I found that comment very helpful. Don't grab the razor as hard. This razor is amazing. It's so efficient, so smooth. I think I like it more than the titanium too. I'm at my bad. I was supposed to do a comparison like two weeks ago. Got caught up in a lot of stuff. I don't know if you guys saw what happened to Ken's uh, Ken's Shave Mac. <coughs> I mean, uh, Thater. Same manufacturer, guys. Same, same knot. His knot fell out of his beehive. If you scroll up on my channel, you'll see that the same thing happened to my Shave Mac. I don't think I ever followed through with what I decided to do. I uh, I sent it to over JR. I sold him the knot because I wanted nothing to do with the Shave Mac. They're a crappy knot. It was actually a nice knot. I, I was just pissed off. <laughs> I sold the knot. <laughs> um, yeah, so I sold it, got rid of the knot, cut my losses. I had the handle laying around and I threw my Wild West Brushworks Declaration B5 in it. So you guys will be seeing that real soon. I'm excited to get that one back. This is a top five. This might be a top five base, man. The Excelsior has such a good residual slickness. It's actually insane. Anyways, I don't think I ever went over the sentinels. So the set notes are vanilla, citrus, sandalwood, resin, and cinnamon. To me, it's like a cinnamon vanilla. No, it's like a cinnamon sandalwoody version of lavanil. It's very similar to lavanil, same wheelhouse. If you ever use Boudelier, same thing. Chasing that BBS. <sighs> Sorry guys, give me a second. Ah, I might have overshaved just a bit while I was talking, not realizing that I was doing that. But why not? Very nice. Cool. All right, I'm back. Um, all I did was just rinse. I'm gonna use this for grip, alum, just a little bit of skin scratching.
Wow, man. First time I used the feather in how long? There's a feather blade in this dark stag. Yeah, you can really see the hair just being sliced. I think this base is like top six Excelsior. Well, I think the only reason why it's not in my top five is because the post shave is not as good as some of the other elites. Um, soft heart does have a better post shave. Better slickness, density. It's actually almost better in every metric. Yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm very happy with both the knots that I have, B9 and B10. But, um, I thought it'd be really helpful if I could just compare the two, because they're both readily available. Um, from Scott over at Declaration. Wow. It's just... Shredding the hair. Feathers are legit, dude. These feathers are crazy good. They used to give me irritation, though. That's the problem. So I stopped using them, but you gotta admit, they get the job done. They cut really well. Cool. Cool, guys. All right, we're good. So, just feel around the neck here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my hair is super thick. It does not want to go away. <laughs> That's why I really like efficient razors. So I'd say this is less efficient than my Blackbird. But for the amount of bleed feel it has, it has really good efficiency because it doesn't feel aggressive at all. Anyways, so we're going to go with the matching splash. This is in the Delta Space. This is absolutely one of my favorite splashes on the market. For an alcohol-based splash, it's not really overpowering. Anyway, and then we'll finish it off with the matching EDT. No, I'm not going on a date tonight. <laughs> Ooh, such good stuff. There you go. Why not throw on some Materium Mysterium Serum? Feels awesome. Throw some of that ravish goodness. <coughs> Anyways, um, the main scent notes I got are the cinnamon, the vanilla, and the vanilla. So if you're into dark, sweet, sexy scents. Ravish is the one for you. I think Maggard still sells it. You could still get it. It's not super hard to get, but it's 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 been discontinued for a while. But yeah, that's it, guys. So that was my Declaration Ten B Ten with slash B Nine review, and then um, we used uh, Ravish and the Diamondback. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.